Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we are given point A, 1, negative 8, and oh, this is a really important piece of information. Point B is on the x-axis. This is this tells me that the x-coordinate of B, we are not too sure, but we do know that since it lies on the x-axis and any point on the x-axis the y-coordinate is zero okay so the very first thing is we are going to let h be the x-coordinate of b and that will allow us to find for part a because we are also given another piece of information which is the gradient of AB is negative 2. So from here, um, gradient, I would then need to remember gradient M is equals to Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Okay? So for part A, with these pieces of information, um, we are able to solve for coordinates of B. We are going to let B H0 be the coordinates of B. And with the gradient of AB as negative 2, I would then be able to have the X1, Y1. I'm going to just write at the side here, okay? My point A is 1, negative 8. My point B, now we are going to let H be the X coordinate so that I will have my X1, Y1, X2, Y2, and the gradient then, given this, would be 0. Minus my negative 8 h minus my 1 and we know that this is equals to negative 2 okay so let's continue to solve so from here i will have 0 minus negative 8 this will give me a value of 8 h minus 1 i'm going to multiply on both sides such that i will have negative 2 times h minus 1 Continue to solve. I have my 8 equals to negative 2h. Positive 2 here. And thereafter, eventually, this is, I will get my value of h. Pretty soon, I'm going to add 2h on both sides. And minus 8 on both sides. So slowly but surely, come let me just create some space here. As I shift this a bit. And make it bigger. So my H will be equals to... This is 2 minus 8 is negative 6. I'm going to divide by 2 on both sides. And that's where I will get my H. But this is not the answer. They are asking for the coordinates of B. So therefore, B will be negative 3, 0. Alright, let me close it, make it smaller as we continue to go over to the next part B. Where we are going to find the length of AB. Ah, this is pretty straightforward because now that I know the value or the coordinates of B, we could find part B pretty easily. So for part B then, I just need to apply the formula for the length. So formula for length would be
given two coordinates then I will have x2 minus x1 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square okay so in this case here then I still have my a which is 1 negative 8 my b is negative 3 0 then from here I would be able to get my x1 y1 x2 y2 so my a b will be equals to the square root of negative 3 minus 1 bracket square plus 0 minus negative 8 bracket square okay and because I do want to just in case later on for the next few parts I may need this length again I do want to know what root is this so I'm going to press my calculator and this will give me a square root of square root 80 units and finally square root 80 is equals to 8.944 to 5 sf followed by final answer 8.94 to 3 sf so part be done part c is where we will need to find these coordinates of c where again there is a piece of important information here point c is on the x-axis this is really important this information tells me that c the y coordinate of c is zero okay and also they tell me another piece of information is that ac equals to ab so with that piece of information in mind step one we are going to let c0 be the coordinates of c and i'm going to just find the ac because i already know ab from part b right so my a which is 1 and negative 8 and my c is c0 i'm going to just repeat for this ac and that will be square root of c minus 1 bracket square plus 0 minus negative 8 bracket square and this equals to ab ab is square root 80 okay notice mr tan do not use this 3sf answer for this working rather i use the more accurate answer which is square root 80 and i am going to square both sides so that the next line we do not have any more square root and i'm going to expand and simplify this this will give me c square minus 2 times c times 1 plus 1 square this will give me a value of 64 this is still 80 and continue to simplify i will have c square minus 2c um, 1 square plus 64 is 65 and I'm going to minus 80 on both sides so that eventually I will get this
So c square minus 2c negative 15 equals to 0. And I will then have to factorize this. And when I factorize this, I will get this answer. 5 and 3, negative 5, positive 3. And finally, c minus 5 is equals to 0. Let me create some space, okay? For part c. So c minus 5 equals to 0 or c plus 3 equals to 0. I will get c equals to 5 or c equals to negative 3. But on this note, it is important to note that Negative 3 here actually represents negative 3, 0. And this is actually the coordinates of B. Meaning, coordinates of C would then have to be from here. So C will be 5, 0. Okay? Last question, now that we have the coordinates of C, last part here would then be to find the gradient of AC. I'm going to just shift it over, draw a line. And for part D, it's pretty straightforward. Now that I have my point A, which is still 1 and negative 8. And I also have my point C now, 5, 0, yeah? So gradient of AC is pretty straightforward then. It is just Y1, X1, Y1, X2, Y2. So I just need to have my Y2 minus my Y1 x2 minus my x1 this will give me a value of 2 and with that we have come to the end of this video so if you like this video do give it a thumbs up thank you for watching and have a nice day